YouTube, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna be reacting to a channel that is highly requested. Even though I reacted to them early on when I started doing reaction videos, they keep getting requested. So I know their channel has blown up. I wanna see how much it's blown up. If you haven't seen that first reaction video, all right, look, I got it right here. So you can see they had 23,000 subscribers. Let's see where they're at right now chill by no way shape or form am i saying i'm the reason the reason why i reacted to them is because they're putting in the work they're doing their thing i'm not the reason why they blew up obviously they were doing something right and it caught my attention so chill i'm not saying i'm the reason why they blew up i'm just looking at the fair growth from then till now wow look at this guys Seventy-seven thousand. this video i did here was in december yo faded culture if you guys don't know that's a really fast growth rate like really fast that's beyond but you know who who grew that fast was fonts fonts probably grew like seventy thousand subs subscribers in a year you guys are at fifty thousand subscribers in three months four months killing it man good for you guys all right but with that being said man the reason why i want to react to this video is because i'm looking at the thumbnail and i'm scrolling down and i see shears so i know he's cutting with some scissors so i wanted to check that out so let's do it <laughs> rolling you're rolling what's going on faded culture it's sergio baron and we're back again with another tutorial today i'm gonna run y'all down my step-by-step -step process on doing a men skin fade their production is stupid number one and number two the last time i reacted to their channel they weren't doing this where they had an intro and they were talking and stuff so this is cool also gonna give y'all some tips on styling towards the end so stay tuned for the whole video and uh let's get started that's not an easy canvas look at the the density how it changes a bunch all right, guys, so to start this tutorial, I'm going to wet his hair all on top just so that it can make it easier to section out the top from the sides. And uh, this is just so that I can uh, move the top length out of the way. Then here, I'm going to look for where I am going to set down my first guideline. So I'll look for that temple peak starting point. And since it is going to be a like a mid drop fade, I'm going to drop the guideline as I reach the back of his head. And then I'm going to just make sure that I meet at the same starting point but on the opposite side of his head make sure you take your time with this first guideline since this guideline is gonna basically be your foundation of your haircut they're from like texas then next i'm gonna just come back and open the lever all the way on Got a the taper accent and i'm gonna come up about a finger in length to set down our second guideline and all we're gonna do is follow the prior guideline that we set down so we're just gonna make sure it runs parallel to that one so oh. funny that he's using fake wall clippers i assume he's got to be using the real blade though so once you have set down that guideline next we're gonna come in with the number one guard still keeping that lever open all the way and we're gonna come up about another finger in length up high and just so y'all know guys i am using the circer cordless clipper modified with the babylis fx blade yeah. blade on it so we'll leave uh links in the description to the clipper and the blade that i i wonder why he's doing that i feel like the blade i think costs more money than the clipper <laughs> adjusted it with as well and so next i'm gonna grab the number two guard still with that lever open and we're not gonna so much focus on leaving a guideline but as you see here i'm gonna scoop out kind of trying to shape out the head of his uh, the shape of his head i should say so basically all we're doing here is trying to connect the side length to the top length of his hair so next i'm gonna grab the three guards still with that lever open and we're gonna continue that same process coming up a tad bit higher still trying to connect that side length to the top length of his hair and again guys make sure you're scooping out and you're not digging in too much to the top length of his hair so next as you see here for whatever is left to connect we're gonna use our clipper over comb technique and with the comb all you're gonna do is scoop in and then shape out shape out his head into that square shape like I, that we were talking about before whatever the comb grabs we're just gonna trim away with the clipper very nice notice he so just grabbed here, just what came out is what he cut upper for that one i'm gonna use that one and a half clip and i'm gonna have the lever position to that third quarter position and we're just gonna proceed with trying to blend out that top guideline finessing the clipper in any way that you need to until we get it blended out they're killing it, man. So the quality's crazy. Out, I'm going to grab on that half clip, and I'm going to leave that lever still to that third quarter position, and we're going to focus on blending out the middle guideline next. Hey, anybody uh, who's uh, taken one of my classes, you know you've probably heard me say the half-half. That's the half-half, right? It's the half guard halfway open. The one half-half. 
that's the one and a half guard halfway open so dope that they've caught on to that you know what i mean the longer you've been cutting the more you you kind of find a system that just works on most of your clients and then you can rely on that system but you don't depend on it right he has a system in place where he goes directly to that half guard halfway open the one and a half guard halfway open with the idea that it's going to work it's going to blend out lines and it's not going to create new lines but i bet you he's going to detail it and it's going to come out next level guard won't completely take out this middle guideline completely yeah you gotta go back to but, that blade uh, open we're just focus on softening it up a little bit we're just gonna focus on blending now just the initial start of this guideline if you find yourself getting a little overwhelmed with blending these guidelines out you can just break it down into smaller sections and just work on work at small sections at a time you definitely have to with this canvas because he won't tell you this man but he definitely sounds like a humble dude but like you could tell in this area it was super dark compared to this area like this area is going to blend out easy for him you know by blending it in smaller sections like he was talking about you can kind of control an even gradients all the way through so i like that he's focusing in different sections he's a monster bro monster i wonder how long they've been cutting man so as you see here i didn't completely take out that middle guideline so like i said i'm gonna come in with the one guard now still keeping that lever on that third quarter position very detailed and, um, I'm going to just work on small sections at a time until we um, blend it out completely. I said this is the last time that I watched and one of their videos. Like I need a haircut. kind of really get comfortable with that lever play because... Next time I'm in Texas, I'm going to their shop. <laughs> For real. I get that ball fake. So next, we'll move on to taking out the last guideline. For that one, I will have three lever positions to take it out. It'll be the lever closed and then open it halfway and then all the way to take it out completely. So right here, you see it's with the lever closed and I'm just working on the front section of his head and then I'm gonna open the lever halfway, come up a tad bit higher to continue blending that guideline. Clean. So once you're done, you see I'll move forward to the middle section of his side of his head. Yo, they are so detail orientated, man. They gotta be charging at least minimum, minimum $50 for a cut. Minimum, to take this much time so and detail like it, this. Break and I don't know for don't sure. Be using the smaller sections, you could just go ahead and uh, just try to blend out the whole backside as well. I don't know for sure what they're charging, bro, but he's worth every bit of anything over 50, for real. So here, just moving forward to that last section of his head, lever closed, lever halfway open, and then lever open all the way to take out that guideline. Using a lot of corner work. And also, guys, if you feel that the haircut still has a little bit of bulk on this ridge area, it's a good idea to come in with your thinning shears and just... uh thin out the hair right there just so that it gives it a softer transition that was a cool technique shear work he didn't want so much removed so i'm just come in and clean it up and first here i'll make sure that nothing hangs over to the sides he can cut head. so starting from the back i'll pull out a small section and then shake my fingers out to a square shape or just have a finger in length section at a time until we reach the front um just trimming away and then we'll repeat the exact same steps on the opposite side yeah my guy can cut bro for sure shape fading he's got it all well be careful with then that I'll knuckle comb everything forward and starting from the back grabbing a small section i'll proceed with giving it a light trim and instead of coming in and trimming it in a horizontal manner i'm gonna come in in a point cutting manner just so that we cut his hair on top leaving a more textured finish up top and as you see here i'm just only cutting the tips so that and then Very once you're nice. done with that i'm gonna blow dry everything really nice before i start the lineup on the front of his head i will apply a little bit of spritz just so that we can freeze the hair out of place and before i set in my guideline i'll try to visualize it first where i want it set in a tough hairline and then once i kind of have a good feeling of where i want his lineup to be i'll uh, start by coming in and with the trimmer setting down the first initial start of it down the middle and then just work my way off to the right and left sides of his head and on the sides, all we're trying to do is make that 90 degree box shape on the corners as sharp as possible. I'll also come in and detail his facial hair as well, trying to conserve here as much of his beard as possible. So I try to follow his natural lineup shape. And like always, before doing any shaving, I'll apply some shaving gel before coming in with a straight razor. So try not to push back on any of your lineup that you already set in with a... And I also like to always shave against the grain just to get that much closer to the skin. And just remember guys, the way your hair dries is the way it's going to lay. So blow dry it in the direction that you want it to lay. And next, optional, if you'd like to apply some enhancements, feel free and do so. For me, I like to use half Kiss Express, half water in a little airbrush. I'll style it with a matte pomade 
laid into the direction that I want the hair to finish laying. So here's a quick before in case y'all forgot. And uh, here's the after. Very so clean. thank y'all again, guys, for watching. And I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video on a men's skin fade with the light scissor trim up top. If y'all please, if y'all did like it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel so y'all stay up to date with all our videos. Very nice, again, man. Guys, Killed it. Let's look at the comments. Your ball fades are fine, but I'd like to see a shadow fade done with similar technique, guidelines, and all. It's the same exact thing. You just don't go to bald. It's easier. I would like to see the detailing after the fade, the clean up, touch up. Yeah, I feel like that's important. I'd like to see more of that too. Yeah, the the quality is crazy on their channel. It's amazing. It's so funny, man, that 245 created that wave. We came out with our compressor and all of a sudden thousands of different types of compressors, coolest compressors start coming out. Didn't exist, bro. That whole wave didn't exist. But it's dope that when I wanted to do it, I remember people didn't think there was a market for it in the barber industry. We did it anyways. And obviously there was a market for it, so. You should do a gentleman's haircut. Probably not their demographics, but I'm sure I'm sure he can do it. He's always talking about shape and stuff. He understands it, so I'm sure they can do it. This channel is definitely taking over 50,000 subs in, in a few months. Very impressed. Cool, man. Guys, today I'm not feeling that well, so I'm going to definitely take a nap. Allergy season and all that good stuff. Yo, make sure you guys go follow Faded Culture. The channel is dope, and they're putting in work. Very, very happy for these guys. I'll put a link in the description of their channel down below. But make sure you show them love. Subscribe. We need more guys like them that are selfless, sharing these nuggets, making the next generation of barbers bigger, better, stronger, faster. <laughs> I'm acting like this is a sport. And I hope to link up with these guys. Maybe a hair show in the future or something but with that being said guys i am out of here we drop daily content on this channel i will see you guys tomorrow